Within the boundaries of the state of California, there are 107 federally recognized Indian tribes, each a separate sovereign nation with its own governmental structure. California tribes have never given up our inherent power to enforce justice. In fact, since time immemorial, tribal nations have always maintained a traditional system of administering justice to maintain harmony and keep peace among the people. This video describes the innovative approaches that are being implemented to reestablish traditional justice systems within the Yurok, Hoopa, and Karuk tribal nations in the Smith River Ranchery. At the end of the year, our annual cycle, we'd have a, a ceremony named Neyatash. And in those days, no one could go to Nadosh if they had unresolved conflicts. We have our traditional mediation and dispute resolution, which is, uh, you know, the head man in the village would mediate between parties, you know, disputing parties. It was said that when um, things would happen that would uh, offend somebody in, in whatever way, whether it was a serious offense or, or, or not, um, there would be payment to those individuals from that were offended. They would have to move to what is called Tlewi. And Tlewi means to have things to be level or to be uh, come to balance, Tlewi. And life could not proceed forward until Tlewi was achieved. And so whether it was somebody working around your house or laboring around your house or paying you a monetary value for what they did to you, it was settled once it was agreed, it was settled. And once it was settled, and, and, and everybody carried through on their end of it until payment was made in full, and then we never spoke about it again. It's like it never happened. But the individuals would learn over here. So Tlewi was important. So once you have reached Tlewi, now you can go to ceremony. Now you can go to the remaking of the universe, the, go to the world renewal ceremony, because what you take with you to the ceremony is what you take to the new year. So if you go there fighting and arguing and bickering, that's what you're taking with you. If you, if you go there resolved and flat, level even, that's what you take to the new year. This way or always will still work today. Uh, they have to be incorporated into our, our modern courts that we have. You know that we are still trying to, to find, a, 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 I guess you may say, an in-between between our traditional uh, court system as well as the modern court system. Recently, Northern California tribes have taken action to reassume jurisdiction over their judicial process. Hoopa was the first. A tribal court is a court developed by the individual tribes to meet the needs of their membership. Uh, tribal courts in some, in some jurisdictions only address ICWA matters, child, child custody matters. My court here in Hoopa is a court of general jurisdiction, meaning that we hear everything with the exception of felony criminal offenses. In the mid-1970s, with uh, fishing along the Klamath River, Yurok's began to implement their court systems. The Yurok Tribal Court started essentially because the federal government wanted um, some regulation in the fishery. And that's where the court started years and years ago. Um, and then it's evolved in the last couple of years once the tribe got organized to an actual tribal court. Now we're trying to build an infrastructure plus a program structure, which is a very complex undertaking. In addition to that, we're trying to build a court that is actually culturally appropriate and not just an outstation of a state court. Um, the fact that you have Yurok people peopling the court does not make it a Yurok court. What makes it a Yurok court is its approach, its philosophy, how you handle case matters, how you handle the people that come before you. Um, the whole proposition of justice is different in the two, the two systems, and that's what we're really working on. With the Karuk tribe, uh, we have been one of the first courts that have been recognized in the state of California. The Karuk tribe is very strong at, at uh, advocating for uh, different programs, different um, 
systems within within our tribe, and and the court system is one of those. Well, the Krug tribe um, started their tribal court, uh, started developing the tribal court in, in around 2004. And the reason for um, the urgency at, at that time was for child welfare. We had quite a few of our children uh, that were being removed and placed into non-tribal homes. And we just felt as if we needed to um, be a little bit more proactive and come up with a solution. So we began planning uh, a children's court. And uh, the tribe was very much involved in the planning process. We are acknowledged in the state system as well, and the county, and they, and they have. They've been coming on board. The county is like, oh, wow, you guys are becoming an asset to this county. Thank you. you know, and, and their door has opened uh, because, well, we're here. We're, we're here to stay. We don't plan on going anywhere, and our people need to resolve issues just like everybody else. But if we could create an environment that, is, is, um, that hosts them, it doesn't let them get away with anything, but at least host them, and it brings them to a, a closure in the process. So that's kind of our bigger dream about why we wanted a tribal court and why we've built tribal court and why we've carried it forward since, since its inception. The Northern California Tribal Court Coalition is comprised of the Yurok, Hoopa, Kaduk Tribal Nations, and the Smith River Rancheria. The coalition started in December of 2004. It was uh, it started out with a meal. It started out with you know, inviting people here to the table to say, um, let's all get together and talk about Project Passport, which was the first page cover sheet of a domestic violence protection order. That was my whole main idea was to make certain that our the victims in our communities are safe, that they were safe, and that the, the orders that we were issuing out of the tribal courts were the were the same orders that the officers were seeing coming from the state court system. Well, the Northern California Tribal Court Coalition was really formed to aid the tribes to go forward to provide services uh, in specific shared areas of concern. Uh, it started out more in the family law area because we share a lot of concerns because our families cross over the lines a lot. So we started working with that around domestic violence and around issues that we felt we had in common. We all had issues in, in common. We all had um, growing pains. We all had um, concerns that we were able to help one another out with. Our cultures are similar. Our issues are similar. And I thought, what a better idea than to get the tribal courts together and develop a, a system that we, we would be able to uh, help one another out in. So the coalition was really designed to help create more resources, a better way of handling the problems, a better way of resolving the problems, and a way to communicate with particularly state courts that we all have to interact with. And that's primarily what we decided to do, how we decided to approach it. We share very similar philosophies. Um, we have similar belief systems in the tribes culturally, so it just works for us. The Northern California Tribal Court Coalition just uh, recently uh, developed an appellate um, forum, so we are going to be able to offer those services for our tribal courts um, in our coalition, and that's, that's a huge savings for our courts. Creating an appellate court division is a very expensive proposition. And so the way that we've approached it in the coalition is that we have a combined appellate process where we have appellate court judges that have been designated and can be selected to sit uh, upon request when we have appeals. That way nobody has to maintain this very expensive uh, arm of the court, which is an appellate division. But we have it available readily. Because domestic violence is such a problem here in Northern California, the first major initiative of the Northern California Tribal Court Coalition is to look at establishing a, a docket for domestic violence. And in this, we're looking at not only healing the, the victims, but also uh, giving some attention to the perpetrators. Domestic violence cases um, involve probably 20% of the cases that we hear here in the Hoopa Valley Tribal Court and probably about the same amount in the other courts that I sit in. Um, I will say that um, they, are the, they are cases that we handle 
with priority. We develop protocols with the state court system so that our orders are registered, so that we know that we are giving the membership the best, the best protection that we are able to do. And that has come with the cooperation of the, of the uh, Humboldt County Superior Court and the Sheriff's Department. Domestic violence is a, becoming an increasingly specialized docket in state courts, and I think it's coming over into um, tribal courts also. The needs of the perpetrators, the needs of the victims are uh, complex. And to create a docket means essentially that you need experts to work with those people who are the victims children of the victims and perpetrators and how to deal with that. So again, it's a matter of do you want to create for us four sets of experts or one set of experts? And in our area, even though the geography of it is daunting, it makes more sense to create one set of experts to deal with it because we want to be able to do and give the best services. We want to address the issue. We want to keep people safe and we want to help people come back from behaving that way, if it's at all possible. The Northern California Tribal Court Coalition has a service area that represents the largest Native American population in the state of California. This region is very remote and rugged from the lost coast of Humboldt and Del Norte County to the sparsely populated Siskiyou County. These characteristics have created an environment ripe for disproportionate and generational abuse, including domestic violence and sexual assaults. Unfortunately, the remoteness of this service area makes it difficult for county, state, and tribal law enforcement to effectively provide security for the population and administer adequate judicial services. You know, I think with us being this far out from, you know, the police force and it's it's kind of scary on the, the time that it takes police to get out here as far as domestic violence cases. I think it has to be understood that both uh, Witchpeck and Klamath are very rural communities. An unfortunate circumstance that we don't have the funding and the manpower to provide services to both these communities by having individuals on board 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The Karuk people um, in and out of Orleans and Happy Campus, are, especially Orleans, um, there's sometimes there's difficulty getting to and from uh, different services that are needed by tribal membership. As tribes began to assume uh, jurisdiction over their judiciary process, uh, wellness courts became a significant component in, in, in the administration of justice. Uh, in this regard, we look at healing people rather than just prosecuting them. I think that, that people got carried away somewhere back there when they started thinking about punishing rather than finding a solution, rather than fixing. Uh, and, and, and so that, and not only my way of uh, uh, thinking, I, I, I believe our people's way of thinking, that it's a solution that we, we search for, not punishment. The uh, wellness court focuses on uh, restorative justice as far as opposed to um, uh, the modern judicial system, which is punitive and, and locking people up. It's my strong belief that you can't just say, well, we're a culturally relevant court. You have to be culturally relevant. You have to make that part of your program. You have to divert your funding into it. You have to work on language. You have to work on skills. Uh, and with those skills and with learning those skills and learning them next to somebody who has them, you learn the responsibilities of being a Yurok. And that's what we're trying to do. Our courts are developed to assist our people, to make certain that our people are entitled to the same, um, the same benefits that a state court offers to the membership in their communities. However, historically, our people have often believed that they got the short end of the stick when, when it comes to dealing with the state court system. And this, this system allows them that same opportunity to come to the court and knowing that we are offering the same 
the same protections, the same uh, opportunities that the state court system <laughs> offers to their membership. I think the tribal state court forum that um, the prior chief justice created is really the first major step towards saying to the state courts, look, you have got to look at the situation with tribal courts. They are here. They are partners in justice, and we need to work with them. So um, that's a revelation. And to have somebody of his stature do that, he's very well thought of, is a major thing. You know, and I think it will make a major change for us. The relationship that the Hoopa Valley Tribal Court has with the Humboldt County Superior Court bench is exceptional. I talk about that across the nation. I talk about that because it's a, it's a developed relationship that has come with time. It, it didn't happen overnight, and there's a lot of bridges to be rebuilt because of, you know, historical trauma that that people have experienced and the hesitance to work, you know, with the state court system. And likewise, them, you know, in the counterwise that they're not as hes they're hesitant to work with us also. But working with them, they have, they have not only um, opened those doors for us with training opportunities, with the opportunity to talk about jurisdictional issues, but given us the opportunity to work with our own people, to give those cases back to us and giving, I mean, having the faith in this court and knowing that this court system, this tribe has the ability to work with the same people that they are working with out there and knowing that they're going to receive the same amount of services and the same amount of uh, with the same amount of confidence that I would expect of them. Ha 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 